Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for the love and support that you're giving me as well as giving yourself. I know, you know, finding out about different things about ourselves can be a really good eye opener and a jaw dropper. So it's a blessing for you to be able to get get to know yourself a lot better than you thought you knew so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subs subscribe even, even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload the next video also if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video. Or you're just up telling me about your impact, empathic gift and how it impacted your life. And heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the video has gave you good vibes or just good info that you need to share with a fellow empath that you know is struggling and going through their journey please go ahead and do so and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit once again thank you so much for the love and support that you've been giving me as well as yourself and others and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video today i'm looking i'm listening to this this is a very beautiful meditation i love the thumbnail that they used on it. i'm gonna show y'all in a minute it's called 741 hertz meditation for uh for removes toxic toxins shining aura body mind and soul of a flower let me see if i can show this to y'all let me see Ugh. let me see are you there it go it's very beautiful you know this girl sitting up here like this and got her hands up like that and like a third eye her hair is magenta i love that but anyways um the video i'm doing today is twin flame 101 hey oka seeing your pain seeing your pain is a blessing within itself you know i know people are looking at me like rosin why is pain a blessing it is it just all depends on how you look at it just with us being hey okas we're going to always have you look at a different perspective on things especially when it comes to dark things i try not to talk about too many dark you know like dark night of the soul and stuff like that because i always try to push out positivity but you know these are things that we we deal with on a daily basis which needs to you know be brought to the table so we got to sit up here and give the elf in the room in the room a voice you know so it's it's like when you go through so many things you know with us being hayokas within itself you know the pubs be like the, the the most powerful empaths that there possibly is so when we go through the worst things we go through some bad things it's like you know just thinking about something I go through is already enough a struggle within itself. But then the next person to tell me the things they went through, I'm like, God, dog, how did you survive something like that? You know, and it's just like we have to really look at our blessings as um, just it. I mean, our pain is like blessings because without that pain, you would never know the strength that, that you had to get through it for number one. And when it comes down to things, usually things have to be smacked into our lives. Something brought into our attention that has to be the most traumatic way for us to know who we are. Because if you did not go through these certain issues that you're going through now, just think about it. Would you ever known that you were an empath? Would you have ever known... Okay, you might have known that you were an empath, but you would have never known the label of the certain things that you do that is not just a regular empath. You have to look at all those things you've been through. And it's like, to me, I used to, and y'all probably hear me say it a lot, there's sometimes I've cried to y'all saying, you know, I didn't understand why I had to go through what I went through. You know, why did my father have to be taken away from me? Why did I have to be exposed to certain things that happened to my father in the most horrific way? You know, um, and that had to give me strength. It really did. You know, there's times that I cry. I ain't gonna lie. There, I mean, y'all see me cry, but there's times I, I don't really like snot cry. Like, huh? you know, like, you know, cry. And just really, I had to just really go through that motion. I really did. And that's the reason why, that's, you know, there's two reasons why I didn't make any videos for the last day, day and a half, day or two. Because it, it was just like I really had to reflect on the things that I was going through at that time. It was like universe said, take a break for a minute. 
and then you can get back on your mission. But you have to take that time for yourself to be in that solitude for you to re understand the reason why you're going through a lot of things. The reason why it affected me so much of, you know, being in the presence of my dad is not the fact that just because we're all already closer in spirit, metaphysically, mentally, and emotionally, you know, we're, we went to that next level. So for him to be able to be blessed to show me certain things that I needed to let go of was really hard for me to do. And it was not the fact that I wasn't um, grieving enough. It's just the fact that you knowing what you know. You know, if you've been with me for a while, you know the things that I went through when it pertained to my dad. That's, I mean, I don't wish that on my worst enemy. I would not. Because it's just like finding all these things out. And it's just like already losing a loved one is hard. But once you, you know, if you have a celebrity that is in your family, that's really hard to you know to actually heal when they're all over the place you know there's a lot of people that you know i'm attached to on social media that puts out a lot of pictures about my dad and it was just like the last few days they've been very overwhelming to me like you know i can't take this it's just too much for me you know i'm dealing with a lot right now and i you know i'm trying to heal from this and it was just really hard to do but then it was just like my dad was like you see the love that they have for me you see the love that you have for me you have to have that within yourself and knowing things happen for a reason like this you know that blessing for me losing my dad has brought me to my dad you know because it was just like i always wonder you know who why did i have attachments to this man so much why did i always see him as my protector my um my guardian angel why did i always see him you know since i was little you know, but I see him at different aspects of my life, you know, because it seems like the closer we got in our twin flame relationship, it was like I seen our past lives of us being husband and wife. I seen his past lives of us being identical twins, um, our, our past lives of him, me being his mother, me being his best friend, me being his cousin. You know, we went through all these things. It's like, wow, we were contracted of life through this and now. They made you out as a rock star and all this stuff. And I got to deal with all this. You know, it was just like, he's like, well, you know, it happens. But I had to be able to look at that. It's like, you know what? It's a blessing because if I wouldn't have knew all these things, I would have never found out who my father was, even though I had an inkling of who my father was. But it was like anytime I would either project something out like him if I wanted to learn certain songs you know my mom didn't care my mom loved that fact you know she found it very intriguing and amazing that we had that kind of connection so she always used to ask me certain things about him just to see if I would figure it out and she's like wow you know you are really special to him and y'all have this strong connection no matter what your adopted father tried to do to tear y'all apart you know, you always had that connection with them. And, you know, it's just, it, it was like to my, my adopted father, he found that as a threat, you know, um, that even though he kept us apart, we were still able to communicate in dreams. And it's still, we still had that communication, even though we were, you know, we're twin flames, but we're actually twins at one time. Um, that it was like family members that I do talk to, they confirmed that the fact is he was supposed to be a twin. It was just amazing how they said, Rosalind, how do you know this? And I was just like, well, obviously I was that twin that he lost that, you know, nobody never knew about. Because it was like certain interviews that he has put out saying, you know, I have that person living inside me. You know, he even made that that uh, that remark with him um, on Oprah. It was like back in 1996, 97, he had said that. And it was just amazing. And, you know, even though I had to stop it because it got really emotional for me to just like hear that because I knew, you know, that's around the time he was like four or five when he conjured up that person that he had lost. You know, he didn't really get into depth about it because he's a very private person. But that was right around the time, you know, I got my imaginary friend, you know, and there's a lot of people that they are empaths, especially Hayokas. And if you have that, that gift of the supernatural, where you you get in touch with the spirit world a lot of you probably had imaginary friends where they tell you it's imaginary friends but it's actually somebody from the spirit world that protects you throughout that time you know be somebody that you can talk to because i was a, a lonely child you know i was the only child living at home so you know i always stayed by myself and my mom always wondered who i was talking to but he always used to tell me my dad would be sitting there indian style playing with me he'd be like oh shh, don't tell him who i am because that will give it away just you know tell my nickname and i used to say skipper all the time i saw oh, my twin brother skipper and my mom's like you don't have a twin brother i'm like yes i do 
you may not remember him not in this life you know that that's something amazing for a five-year-old to be able to tell their parent and <laughs> say you were a twin at one time and my mom used to think it was very like macabre like okay i was this twin that died but you know my brother looks just like me except he's lighter than me that's the only difference we, we look just alike except he's lighter so you know my, i used to always have to tell my mom that but it's just a blessing within itself to know that you know even though you might not be able to see it right now because you're probably still going through that process of learning everything and trying to put concepts about it about why you had to go through this it's a blessing within itself because you wouldn't know how strong you were until you had to experience the situation you would have never known who you truly are if you never went through this situation seeing things with within it like brand new eyes is a blessing within itself you know like you know i've said it before in my different videos you have a purpose behind the pain you went through it, it and it does it serves a powerful a powerful purpose that you had to go through these certain things to realize there's more than more things out there especially about you that you really truly need to know because a lot of people fear what they don't understand you know your parents probably you know parents and family members probably outcasted you because you were very different you probably spoke different than certain children you know because that that is a weird thing for me to tell my mom hey I, I died I was supposed to be a twin I've been a twin before you know I played you know a twin to my dad twice I played uh, paid uh, played a wife to him a few times because I mean he even got a song called friend lover sister mother wife and that's basically telling about every little single thing we have went through and it was crazy situation but it's just knowing that as a blessing that we, we are contracted like that and it can be very painful at times and get, get very emotional and somewhat tragic but it's just all about how you look at the things you know because if you did not go through this hardship you would have never known who you were. You wouldn't be coming to me now because it's like I tell people, they, they're trying to figure out if they're a Hayoka or not. If you're coming to me, pretty much you are. <laughs> you just, you know, universe sent you to me for a reason. And it's just like I feel like an empath social worker at times, but it's a blessing to be able to help people like that because I didn't have that help. I had the help from my dad and the universe, but I didn't have nobody physically to be able to tell me these things because either they didn't want me to know or people just didn't understand why I did certain things or seen certain things. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video. Like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Even drop me a line. I love to get your opinion upon this. You know, this video, I love when y'all drop me comments and give me your opinion about certain situations that, you know, can relate to this. Um, I'm giving a, a shout out to... Um, let me see who, who am I giving a shout out to treasure season seasons much love to you October 31 uh, Sandy White and Lisa Johnson much love to you as well love and blessings love and light and you know know that you are truly blessed highly favored and forever loved and knowing there's somebody always praying out there for your better days because I do pray for y'all so you know drop me a line I'll love the chance to hear from you and I'll also see you on my next video much love peace be wild